Hey, what's up, guys? Joey here, and today we'll be fixing a uh, Drupal uh, error which says the website encountered an unexpected error. Try again later. So, um, what you want to do is uh, this my Drupal site is not going through. So, what you want to go uh, do is go to your uh, C panel. Uh, you want to locate your website, open the folder. Here is mine, my website. I'm going to open the folder out. So uh, this is my Drupal website folder, and I'm going to uh, double click on this site to open that. And then um, I'll double click to open default folder. And this is where uh, you actually uh, get things done, okay? This is where all the settings are. So this is what you want to do. First thing first, let's go back one step. Make sure, right, click on this folder and say change permissions. Now, initially, it's going to be uh, uh, somewhere around here, 555. Click on, you see this where it says right? Click on right and make sure it's on five. The permission is set to uh, 755, okay? Initially, it's going to be this way, 555. Click uh, right here on the user and make sure it's 555. I mean 755 and save the change. Now, we're going to open this folder, default folder, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're right clicking and we'll say change permission. And what you want to do is do the same thing. Okay. Under user, click on uh, right where is it? You should have 644. Okay. 644. Remember for def default folder, it's 755. And on the settings, it should be 644. Uh, click to change settings and what you want to do is right click on this settings folder i advise that you download the file work on it then re-upload and re uh, uh, overwrite it okay if you don't know what you're doing but i know what i'm doing so i'm going to right click on it and i'll say uh, edit edit and I'm going to paste in this code, which I have under the description. Okay. Um, okay. So going to scroll, uh, you know, to the bottom, I'll hit enter, enter again, two step, and uh, paste in this code here. Okay. You don't need to write this code. I have it under the description. Uh, go get it. Save changes. And you can see it's changed. Now, if you don't follow the steps which I showed you, uh, you're not going to, it's not going to work. Okay. It's going to bounce. It's going to give you an error. Okay. And um, we, we go back to our. Okay. So this, as you can see here, I have this error uh it has traced that this is the um so this is what this code down here does so it actually goes in to identify what is causing this error but mind you uh when we are done we are going to remove this code okay and change our settings back to it if its default uh, state. So here you have the plugin causing this error uh, is the uh, coming soon mode. Okay, that's the plugin that is causing this error. So we are going to go to our C panel and we're going to go back. Go back. Uh oh, oh, okay. So I have to go back now. So you, you go to uh, your um, uh, folder, installation folder, and you click on modules. 
And under modules, we are going to delete this folder. I mean, delete the coming soon mode. You can see it right here. So we're going to delete this. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, our website, we've regained access to our website. So uh, that is how you resolve that error. Now, make sure you delete this code in here. Okay, because if you don't, people, your visitors are going to be seeing um, a message we saw previously. So I'll uh, go ahead, save it. And yes, uh, go back to here and set your permission to, let's see. Okay. Uh oh. So set your permission back to 644. Okay. This is 644 now. Let's refresh this. Okay. Four four four. Save. And uh, go back one step. Right click on the default folder and set the permission to 555, okay? Now we're done, okay? So that is how you resolve that error, okay? I'll be doing more videos showing you how to, uh, the other ways to resolve these errors, okay? I just don't, I just don't want this video to be too long. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.